baby, this weather is weathery, okay? Um, this weather is very much giving up north. Like, I don't even understand what's going on because I'm in Atlanta. Hold on. Y'all don't get in front of this camera with uh, my next chat. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> I'll show that again. Hey, gems. It's your girl, Miss Chamima, aka the Bonnie Bandit. And <laughs> hey, gems. It's your girl, Miss Chamima, and we are back at. Hey, gems. It's your girl, Miss Chamima, aka Jayonce, and we are back. Okay, be serious. And see. Hey, Jams, it's a girl, Mr. Mima, and we are back at it again with another vlog. So today is Saturday, and in true Caribbean form, today is scrub your house down from top to bottom day. Um, well, morning. So um, I'm about to crank it up. I put the blinds up because I really, really wanted some natural light. Is that my freaking door open anyways yeah so i'm right here because the main reason why i never have my blinds up is because i don't want any weirdos to see my apartment <laughs> um so i guess whenever i'm ready to involve you on the process i'll close the blinds but for now i just want to enjoy the natural light i just want to enjoy the sunlight that's coming into my apartment because i so rarely get to enjoy it you know <sighs> And I'm gonna need all the help I can get today because I'm cramping. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to push through. I'm trying to push through because I want this house big and span. And usually, um, I have a cleaning lady that comes. But last time, I don't know what happened. Like, I think Miss Man was a little tired, and I feel her because cleaning is exhausting. It's an exhausting job. Um, so it wasn't the best. Um. But I didn't, you know, when somebody spot cleans, you can't really tell right then and there. It's like a week later, it's like, why is this looking like it's just never been cleaned before? You know, like little stuff like that. And so I just want to do a really deep clean. Um, and then like, I'll call her back later. So I guess the rules have changed. Because usually I feel like I prefer a clean lady to deep clean and not touch up. So I guess today I'm a deep clean and then she gonna touch up. Because I, I need this place spick and span. And nobody going to spick and span it like me. So, hate that for my back. I can already feel the pain. Um, so now my back can match the front. Yeah. So, let's get started. Fun stuff. The very next evening. Hey, Gems. I was talking a lot of stuff yesterday. <laughs> We won't put too much. You know, I love like this metal applicator because it feels cool to lips when you're applying the lip balm. But then I kind of don't realize when I'm putting on too much. I don't want to show you how that looks. It's actually kind of gross because there's so much spillage on the outside. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry. Your girl was down bad yesterday. She was down bad. And um, I spent most of the day laid up with my heating pad i did um occasionally i would get up put something away tidy this up you know little things so i did eventually get the living room tidied and i've been doing laundry um i pretty much washed everything and i have been folding from the comfort of my bed um which was easy enough like i said i've been sitting here attached to my heating pad oh shoot i boiled some water so i can make some raspberry leaf tea so hopefully that'll help but yeah what i thought i would be able to get done in four or five hours it's now gonna take me at least three days because i already know for sure i'm not gonna finish tonight um and it's already oh my gosh it's 10 o'clock it is 10 o'clock at night oh my goodness I be telling you, I be starting off so confident. Like, I just know I'm about to get things done. And then I don't. But it is what it is, though. 
At least I got something done as opposed to nothing. Because usually it's nothing. Mm. I was scrolling on Instagram. Minding my business. And once again. Something that Brittany posted just ate me up. Hold on. When I tell you she has been working on the ground lately. Hold on. Let me show y'all the video she posted. And just lock me up because the guys are going to want to bite me, which means the girls are going to want to fight me. Okay? And I don't have the time. This is the eat em up combo. This is the projection beast. Um, This is, you know, don't wear this when you don't feel like being bothered. Do not wear these two when you don't feel like being bothered, okay? <laughs> this is not the one, okay? It is every single thing, like I said, just lethal, deadly, gourmand, mm, goodness. And just lock me up because the guy's So, she's talking about Baccarat and, what is it, Maison escapade something so i actually have both fragrances um the vanilla ish one that she's referring to in the gold bottle i actually got that as a christmas gift last year now it's very sweet very heavy like heavy on the sweetness um and when i tell you never never ever ever in a million years would i have thought to pair those two together like that with baccarat like never so i'm just like watching this and i was like she's just speaking so heavily about this let me go try it i mean it don't take much if i have the fragrances here and somebody says that you know this this particular combo is great or this combo is great i'm gonna try it the thing is i don't even know how she found out about this combo but it actually does work so i just i don't i never would have put the two together and it's just i'm just baffled by the combinations that i haven't even tried yet i haven't even thought to try just for my collection like all the new fragrances that i could create just from the things that i already own and every time i think about that i'm just like like yeah you have like 20 perfumes but really you have like 2000 because think of the combinations. I never would have thought. And it smells really good. And when she says like it's heavy on the projection. Baccarat by itself is a heavy hitter. That. Dang. What is it called? I literally was wearing it last week. I bought it here to wear as my go to bed perfume. Last week. I like to rotate sometimes. Because um, I enjoy my own company. Okay. And I enjoy my own scents. Um so i was like it's so ironic that i just had that in rotation but together oh my god it really does work oh my god i cannot i cannot wait to try it out and like actually wear it out um i'm just like like i feel like i need to go to like a sexy happy hour or something i just i don't know i just i feel like i need to wear this out i need to give her a test run on the outside like not just in the house and i put it on my skin too mm, i just know she ain't she is not lying like she is not lying i know they be eating her up when she wear this because ain't no way ain't no way ain't no way Ugh. anyways let me get back to folding my clothes i'm currently folding sweatpants and watching the bear that's the current show that's keeping me entertained it's very interesting um i have seen like small snippets about um his sous chef and about whether their relationship is like a platonic soulmate or like a romantic soulmate and um i'm still watching it but i do have my thoughts now that i've actually seen most of it i think they're like 30 minute episodes less than 30 minutes am i lying are these our episodes yikes i'm already on season two episode six so for the past two days you can see what i've been doing but yeah it's an interesting show i'm hoping i get to my bathroom tonight if nothing else i want to at least tidy up but i really wanted to like deep clean and mop 
reorganize I kind of want to reorganize part of my bedroom closet because I moved my sweatpants and stuff in here as opposed to having them in my closet room just because I didn't like having this bin just like laying around so I just hmm. yeah I'm gonna do some rearranging in here to make room for that um but yeah so this is definitely gonna spill over into tomorrow for sure um because I need to order a cart to put some of my products because I have some extra products in my closet I have like skincare stuff that I don't use as actively as the ones I have out in the bathroom now just things that I know I'm gonna get back to because you guys know I like to change things up switch things up and add some variety into the mix but yeah I wanted to come in and check in but today was the day today was a day but yeah Oof, I'm about to lay back down. I ain't gonna make this damn tea. Ugh. <laughs> you know when the kitchen is so near but so far, and I just stand there and I don't make the tea. I don't feel like standing right now. Oof, Lord. But anyways, at least all my clothes are cl are clean. Um, my dresser clothes have not been hung up, but at least I got a good chunk of these done. My my workout clothes and stuff I restacked. My sleeping clothes, my pajamas restacked. Like. So for someone, you know, who, who's barely functioning, I did get a good amount of things done. Um, so yeah. <sighs> okay, later. <laughs>
sit down with super stylish individuals. We're going to dive into their personal style journey. They're going to take our fashion trivia. Maybe we're some celebrities or two. First of all, it, it was, and I'm so grateful for that. I feel like I should have paid somebody to give such an amazing intro. <laughs> Thank you for doing it. Oh, no. I just, <laughs> my money falls like yours, girl. But uh, what would I add to it? I am a country girl. Oh, that, I think that's very important. Oh, no, that might be. I, I would put a category, hmm. um, most of the Kardashians slash Jenners, because so much of it is rooted in cultural appropriation. So there's something I think about like a lack of true talent. This one for the next guest. Yes. And he's underrated. He's underrated in style. And you're like, what are you talking about? But then brought to like a high fashion space. And so all of Miami's like Met Gala looks, I was so here for. And so I would say that it's something about the way that there are a lot of like young people right now in the game that are doing it that I appreciate. About to see. Hey, Gems. I made a dinner earlier from this like frozen meal. It was like this pesto dish and when I tell you it rocked my stomach, like my God, <laughs> my stomach was hurting so much. It was like sharp cramps. Ugh. Um, so that's what I'm about to clean up now. <laughs> but I was watching Stephanie, Stephanie Rose. And she had a sponsorship with Hungry Root. And she was saying how, you know, she likes the groceries and stuff that she gets for them. So I decided to go ahead and try my hand. You guys know I love a service. Oh, it's heavy. Uh, a delivery something or other, whether it's groceries, meals. Let's do this on the pop today. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, I like to have things delivered to me just because it makes life easier. Um, I just don't have a time, child, but I be wanting all the things. So I decided to try my hand at it. Um, yeah, so I like Hunger Root because it seems like it's a combination of like a meal delivery service, but also groceries. So like they send you ingredients for meals and they can pick for you or you can pick for yourself. Oh my God, this is not sponsored. This totally sounds sponsored. <laughs> not yet, but they can hit me up. <laughs> um, so they can pick for you or you can pick for yourself. And I was like, let me pick. I like to pick my stuff. Cause I wanna make sure that I can eat everything that's in here. Like, okay, if my coin is being spent, I wanna make sure that I can eat it. So. They, they picked out some things for me and then I went in and picked out some things for myself. I was like, ooh, like I really wanna try this one over this one, this one over this one. So yeah, I also, so based on the questionnaire, they gave me things, right? I went back and adjusted because I answered the questionnaire truthfully, but I'm not following that right now. <laughs> So it's asking like, how many times a week do you have sweets? Or do you have this? Or do you have that? And I'm like, you know, I, I don't mind a Twix here and there, but I'm trying to chill on the sugar for like right now. Cause y'all know I'm trying to be strict for, not strict for real. I'm just trying to be decent. Good, I'm trying to be good for January. <laughs> After January, all bets off, okay? Um, so I took out all like the sweets and stuff that they had. Um, so, let me see. I think I'm gonna like this. I think I'm gonna like it. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna get it the week. I'm not. Um, just because mm, I'm just not. I'm not really an every week subscription kind of person. I like to switch it up. Like one week I'll do Amazon Fresh, and next week I'll go to the store, and a week after that I'll do like Factor. Or a week I, like you know, y'all know me. I like variety. Um. So yeah, I think I'm really gonna like this service free of partially hydrogenated oils, free of artificial sweeteners, free of high fructose corn syrup, free of artificial colors, da da da. And these are things I don't even look for in regular foods. Like, but the fact that y'all do it for me, love that. <laughs> you ain't gonna hear me complaining. Yeah, you do that, thank you. So there's some seasoned jasmine rice. I don't typically have white rice, but we'll try it out. Oh, it has turmeric in it. Oh, I like that. Um. So we have that, we have spinach, 
Oh, period. Potatoes. Look at so cute. Look. Oh, that's so cute. This is a bag of potatoes. Okay. Tortillas. More jazz and rice. More spinach. Period. And I always do four prequel meals because like I'm not cooking for every single meal. I'm meal prepping. So I'm gonna meal prep with these. Like that's why there's so much of everything. I always get four people meals. And I picked the option where I prefer to have everything already chopped and cut. And I'm sure that increases my cost, but it also saves me in time. So yeah, sign me up. Thank you so much. Broccoli. Y'all know I love broccoli. Not the babies. They gave me the baby brocks. <laughs> and everything is cold, by the way. Popcorn, Himalayan pink salt. Popcorn is my snack of choice these days. Um, some people like to roast you about it, but you know, I digress. We have cauliflower florets, a vinaigrette of some sort. Interesting, interesting. More things here. Ooh, chicken snack stick. Yeah, I like little snack stuff like this. Just good on the go. I might have this now. I'm actually really hungry. Sam's fresh salsa. Yum. Oh, I spy tacos or something. Yeah. Yeah. You got some seasonings, garlic and herb. Okay. Banana bread on the go oats. Ooh. Yeah. Can't wait to try that. Um, acai blueberry with probiotics smoothie bowl and granola. Oh. Look at that perfect bite size drum roll chocolate glazed donuts yeah period period not the orange oh thank ya and we have hot water sparkling hot hot water blood orange flavored yum i know i love a good sparkling situation a good carbonated situation. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. There's more stuff at the bottom. That was half the box. I guess the. Oh. Okay. Okay. Y'all. Like. Okay. I think I'm really gonna like this. Like seriously. Here's the produce. We have chicken breast. We have eggs. I love this snack on eggs. We have salmon fillets. Period. Yeah, yeah, salmon, salmon. Um, more chicken, chicken thighs. Dang, it's still, it's still frozen. Golly, y'all better package these up. Avocado crema. I was about to say, cause I picked dairy free option. How y'all have crema that's not, this is basically guacamole. Cause there's no dairy in this. But yum, thank you. The Owen Double Shot Mocha Latte Protein. I've never had a mocha latte, a coffee shake. 20 grams of protein, I'm intrigued. I've had their regular protein shakes, but if this is good, I might have to put this in steady rotation, but we won't see. I've never tried different flavors, so hopefully that's good. Um, seasoned grilled chicken breast, another one of those. Another one, thank you. This one is, all natural fajita seasoned chicken. Oh, come on. Mild guacamole and another avocado crema. So yeah, what oh, we're gonna enjoy. We are going to enjoy. Thank you so much. Wait, 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 wait. Cause I feel like if you're gonna give me something to make meals, should I, shouldn't I get recipes? like? Are you expecting me to free ball this or did I just miss it? Oh, it's on the back. Oh, you know what? I'm spoiled by HelloFresh with those cute, like, those cute recipe paper plates, not plates, cards, recipe cards. This one's just printed on the back of the sheet, yeah. Like, I mean, y'all could've did a little something. I can't even like reuse this for a long time, you know? Y'all can't laminate it. <laughs> um, wait. I'm missing something. I'm missing the pitted Kalamata olives. Or did I miss that? 
so I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm missing the olives. Yeah, there's a list of all the grocery items on here. I know I picked olives. Is it missing or did I just like throw it down and didn't realize, yeah, I did. Cause I never would have imagined it came in this kind of package. Like, come on, y'all think any more olives in this? I should have got more. This is like two, four, like six olives. And I really like olives, so next time I'll definitely get more. But um, yeah, okay. I'm excited to try this out, y'all. I'll definitely let you guys know how I feel about it going forward. But already, I like it. It's like a blend of all the things. Um, my regular grocery orders and HelloFresh. So cool, cool, cool. I'm kind of gonna snack on something now. I'm actually very hungry. And I wouldn't mind a light meal. <laughs> it's like midnight. <laughs> but I told you my stomach was hurting. Like, I mean, I ate dinner, but I know how that go. <laughs> Anyways, let me put these up. Um, I'm gonna have a shower, wash my face, and I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Later, gators. <laughs> Not my battery about to die. Uh, wait, hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good morning. Um, <laughs> so I had lunch plans um, with Simone. I was super excited, haven't linked up with her in a minute. Was planning on, you know, getting cute, record some content, doing the whole get ready with me, and going on to have lunch, you know, and catch up. Baby, this weather is weathering, okay? Um, this weather is very much giving up north. Like, I don't even understand what's going on because I'm in Atlanta. <laughs> Why am I in Atlanta experiencing up north weather? Respectfully. It's so freaking windy. I can literally hear the wind like beating on the glass um, doors and windows. And I'm telling you, since the moment I woke up, I was like, damn, like, I look, you want to reschedule, da, da, but I don't want to be a flake. Like, I don't want to flake. And I know she already had plans to be out this morning, and then she was just going to go lunch afterwards. I'm like, she's already going to be outside. Like, in my mind, I was mentally preparing to just be walking outside, fighting for my life, you know? And I had a cute little outfit planned. I don't know why I choose to be in my skirt era in the dead of winter. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Why do I want to put on a mini skirt or any kind of skirt when it's freezing? Because I, I had a cute little lunch fit for today. A cute cash but cute. <laughs> Baby, that skirt would have been over my head because it's like a little flare, loosey knit situation. I would have been walking with it over my head and I don't have stockings. Not for that outfit. I bought a whole bunch of stockings, but they're all black. Oh, actually, no, I didn't have beige, but that would look real scary. The point is that outfit would not have worked for today <laughs> anyways. Um, she texted me. She was like, so just to let you know, it's super windy outside. I thought she was giving me a heads up because, like I said, she had plans to already be out. <laughs> so she was like, how you feeling about it? Oh, I said, oh, say less. You asked me how I felt about it. I said, I haven't wanted to reschedule since I opened my eyeballs. Y'all, we canceled a plan so quick. <laughs> she apparently she canceled her whole, whole morning. <laughs> felt, okay. I got out here, I cranked that heat up. Um, Atlanta has a thing about their pipes bursting because they're not creating well insulated buildings. <laughs> So I'm like, I never had to worry about this back home, but like apparently you have to keep like the water dripping or something, like very ghetto. But like I went around to the sinks, mm, putting on a little trickle here, trickle there. I'm not getting caught up. So there goes my plans for the morning. Um, so yeah, I'm about to make some breakfast, hit the gym downstairs, and get to work. Cause that's all I do. That's all I do. The one time I thought I was going to do something exciting and leave the house for lunch and actually have some companionship, some company. The weather took that from me. It did. You can't even see me. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> it's so dark. And I'm wearing this damn hoodie on my head. 
um yeah so you know i thought i was gonna get all cute smell good go outside i was gonna test out the combo from Brittany, the baccarat and the escapade gourmand is that what it's called something like that um and now we in the house i'm sorry oh my life is so dry but that's okay because at least do y'all hear that i don't know if you can hear the wind but it's intense like i'm so glad she texted me because i really was about to brave it and i really didn't want to like I don't want to step foot outside and that's why I'm so happy we have a reasonable gym downstairs because I'm not leaving this place I'm not I got my little hungry root box last night well I picked it up last night um, so you know I got some I, I could probably use a, a couple filler things I did want some dairy-free cream cheese because I got the Dave's killer bagel and blueberry as like a little snack a little something in between meals but i don't have the cream cheese i'm not going to the grocery store i guess i could i could do a Publix delivery or i could do like i don't i don't, I don't really want I don't know. it was on the fresh what do i want? no you know what Juma? you have food in the fridge make it work and that's just that on that yeah um i think i want to make avocado toast I did get sourdough over the weekend, sourdough bread, and I have avocados here. I also got grape tomatoes. I have, I think I have a red onion left. Yeah, let's make some avocado toast for breakfast. <gasps> Maybe we could try, this is what happens. Now you're gonna get caught up in making this meal, and then you're gonna be slowed down, then you're not gonna go to the gym, cause then you're gonna be like, oh, work, work, work. I haven't gone to the gym in the past few days. And it's a slippery slope for me because once I get into the habit of not going. <laughs> that laugh was very disgusting. I don't know why I did that. Um, my dishwasher stopped working again. Like it's just, you know, it's very ghetto in these parts. Like I, let me make this avocado toast. Mm. I didn't even take my iron yet. Oh. So I, I tried to find my, you know, citrus cold pressed juice because that's what I have to mix my iron with. Couldn't find any at Target because um, I did get a little delivery order because um, I got some new, like, some new products and stuff to re up and try some new things also. Um, and like I said, I'm not stepping foot outside this apartment, so I'm not gonna go to the store. But I did find this one other juice, but it's like real, like, it's juicy, juicy. And I feel like cold-pressed juice, like, it's juice, but, like, I feel like it don't count, you know? <laughs> I feel like when it's cold-pressed, it's like eating a vegetable. Like, it don't count, so. And that juice is just real juicy, you know? Um, and I'm still in, you know, my, let me not do that, because I just, I slept up once. But I was on, I'm on, I was on my cycle. Like, uh, I needed that Kit Kat to carry me through. I needed it. But besides that, I have not slipped up at all for my whole low sugar situation. Okay? Period. Yeah. That Kit Kat was needed. Um, <laughs> yeah, so let me go ahead and make this all about those. What do I need to make it? Yeah, I want a fried egg. Do people like, they don't cook down the tomatoes, they just put the tomatoes on there, or like, I feel like maybe put a little lemon and some garlic, something on the tomatoes separately and top it. Or do they mix the tomatoes in the avocado and like actually make what? How do the girls do it? I've never actually done it with tomatoes before. I'll figure it out.
The next day. Yeah, I, I cooked one of the hunger root dinners. It was just like fajita, tacos, or whatever the case may be. Um, I selected the easiest, most simplest meals possible, um, and that's exactly what they gave me. <laughs> that is exactly what they gave me. And I took it further a step because I was supposed to cook the protein and the veggies separately. I said they go in the same place, put them in the same pot. <laughs> Fry them up in the same pan because who finna? Okay. Um, yeah, so I was like, dang, you know, HelloFresh would like hook up the sauces, maybe made a little cabbage slaw or something. And I was like, no, you turned down that option. You said, give me the most basic of the basic. And you know what? That's what I need for my lifestyle because that meal was super quick and now I have food for tomorrow and possibly the day after tomorrow, you know? Um, I'm probably gonna cook another meal tomorrow anyways um, and kind of slowly meal prep my way through the week so that I can just cook all the meals and have them ready to go. I'm gonna put the rest in the freezer. But yeah, um, I think I'm really gonna like this this um, membership situation. But I like once a month, it'll be really good. Mm. I just used my Dr. Gross peel pad, the first one, so I have to wait a little bit before I go on with the second wipe. So, um, I think I'm on my last week of Invisalign. Like, do we remember when I first started? <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to be getting another set or, as you can tell, I'm very confused. I don't remember what we hashed out 
when I first went to my appointment. Like I don't remember the details. All I know is the box they gave me is finished. And I have to wear this for another week. And I'm assuming somebody will reach, out, will reach out to me. If I don't hear from anybody in the next two or three days, I'm going to call them. Because I'm like, am I done? Do you guys remember when I first started Invisalign? <sighs> you know what this process has taught me? When they say that the time will pass either way, like, I could have waited. I could have taken my time. I could have put it off. Because, like, it bothered me, but it wasn't a big deal. You know, finally I just took the plunge and I was like, whatever, let me just do it. The time is going to pass regardless. You might as well do the thing because you have to live through the time anyways. Imagine if I put this off. I'm on my last set of Invisalign. I feel like it's kind of like a mindfuck for me. I don't know if it's hitting for y'all because we started this together. We went to the appointment together. We was We were complaining together. <laughs> we pop out our aligners together like we were in this together and this is my last set now i don't know if i'm gonna get another box of 21 but this is my last set in this box um <sighs> they say that the time will pass any way you might as well do it mm-hmm Wow. Whew. I might be done. That's crazy. Well, done that aligners. Um, I guess I'll have to be fitted for retainers and they would have to, I would actually have to go in for an appointment, I presume. So they can check the progress of my teeth in person to see if it's all going well, but whatever the case may be. Uh, hopefully this is my last one because I imagine we getting hyped now and then they're like oh no girl <laughs> your mouth still jacked <laughs> well one thing I do know is that we made it this far okay is that we made it to week 21 of having plastic in my mouth all day every day that's wild. I never thought I would acclimate. <laughs> I never thought I'd get used to it, but after a couple weeks, I mean, it was just like second nature. Not to say it stopped being annoying. Um, there are certain aspects of it that is annoying, but I also stopped caring about certain things, like having to get up and leave to pop out my liners. I just take it off at the table. I'm sorry to my guests. Listen, I gotta take this out, my bag. <laughs> you know? Um, I was super pressed and anal about cleaning out my teeth um, before I put them back on. Now, I'm at dinner, I pop them back in, I will clean my teeth when I get to the car or when I get to the house. I'm not going to the bathroom no more to clean out my teeth. Unless it's convenient and we have time. But like me forcing myself to like not wear my liner except the flosh is on the first, which probably isn't great. Maybe I have cavities, I don't know, but just eliminating the things that made it harder for me made it easier for me. So I might pay the price later, but <laughs> um, we made it and that's what counts. Okay, we made it. Um, I'm just going to apply a moisturizing serum, my moisturizer, and then call it a night. It's been real. I hope this vlog wasn't boring. I don't even remember what I did. All I did today was work. Man, I was on that couch the whole day. Maintenance came in, replaced my dishwasher, finally. Um, I thought they were gonna come in and fix it, because they fixed it last time, then it went back to be messed up. They just completely replaced it, so I said, I'm not gonna come, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. Um, so while they're doing that, I was editing. I dropped my first photo shoot picture today. <sighs> Your girl was busy, okay? She was productive and busy, but she's also very tired. And it's also like 1 a.m. And my schedule has been completely messed up this whole week because I can't make it through the day without taking like two naps. I'm utterly exhausted. <laughs> um, and I do have a health update. I'm just still processing low key. So I'm not quite ready to talk about it, but Just know your girl is fatigued and with good reason, okay? Um, the naps, low key, helped me stay up 
later to get work done. So now it's 2.30 in the morning and now it's going to be impossible for me to wake up at 5. And it's just, it's just a, it's just a bad pattern. Like it just, it's just a bad domino effect. You know, you don't go to bed on time. Your next day is running, you know? So hopefully I'll be able to recalibrate, but for now, this is what it is. Um, yeah, it's been real. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, and I will see you on the next one, huh? Hopefully the weather will chill out a little bit and I can actually go outside. We completely rescheduled for next week. Um, my last day with Simone, cause <laughs> babes, absolutely not, absolutely not. Anyways, child, I will see y'all in the next vlog. Toodles. <laughs> Girl, who is going out in 15 degree weather? 20 degree weather. Like, I always say, we're not going to be nothing else. Be for real. Peace.